Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig, and look what I just got in the mail. An order from Hondo Boots. Let's get into it. So after I put up the last Hondo Boots review, they actually reached out to me and said, thanks for reviewing our boots. We would love to keep in touch with you. And they sent me a pair of boots. Now, I also have an interview coming up with Hondo Boots as well, so keep an eye out for that. But this I am so excited for. This is a new pair of boots from Hondo Boots specifically. Let's open it up. I wanna show you guys, I, I already opened it up. I gotta be honest, I could not contain myself when I saw the Hondo Boots box show up on the porch. I had to open it up and see what was inside. So this is not a surprise to me anymore, but it will be a surprise for you guys. And let me tell you what a surprise is gonna be. So let me open up this boot box and you guys will see what I got from Hondo. This is model number 2670. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Look at this boot. Red shaft, bull hide vamps here, single stitch welt, leather sole. We got lemon wood pegs and brass nails here. Wow. Guys, smells great too. It's got that leather smell. Just like the other Hondo that I reviewed, it's got a hard leather sole, which you already know that I prefer. There's no pull straps here. There's only the holes in the shaft, in the top of the shaft here. One thing that I do like a lot about this boot is the red piping all the way down the side of the boot that kind of splits the vamp from the counter here. It's just really classy and it kind of it kinda gives a hint to what might lay underneath the jeans or the pants uh, as, as we will probably see here because you know that I have to try these on. I just really like the look at this boot. The red shaft. <sighs> Guys, this is amazing. Amazing stitching in this shaft too. It's completely leather lined all the way on the inside as well. I believe it feels, it feels like calf skin on the inside even though the outside is bull hide. And you might think that bull hide might be a little bit more tough, but it's actually kind of soft here. Uh, I'm really impressed. This is a, a really nice boot. All right, I think it's time to try it on. Oh, one thing that I do like here is the little holes, little, little punch holes in the, I believe this is the crown of the boot, and if I'm, mistaken I will correct myself in the video but this hole on the on the crown of the boot here is just nice little ornate details that you can also see on the counter as well it just is great the detail in this boot is spectacular and they're and they're a great price too I believe they float around the 200 to 250 dollar range this is a great quality for that price range. Also, it is made in Mexico. Hondo Boots, though, is an American company out of El Paso, Texas. All right, I'm, an, I'm, I'm done talking. I gotta try these things on like right now. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> they fit amazingly. now. Phil from Hondo said that I would probably do better with the 11 and a half D in this boot. He looked at the other boot that I reviewed and he noticed that there was a little bit of slack in there. And there was. Uh, the 11 and a half though in, in that boot was a little tight and that's why I felt like I had to go up to the 12. But this is an amazing fit. It's perfect. It feels great on the arch. It feels great at the ball of the foot. There's no snugness, really, no too tight feel in the toes or the ball of the foot. And I have just the right amount of heel slippage 
This is great. It feels incredible. Wow, the arch support is great here too. I love the texture of this boot. The bull hide just looks incredible. And Phil was completely right. The 12 would have been way too big in this boot. And it's really impressive that he can make that distinction through video. I was super humbled when he said that he watches these videos. I couldn't believe it. A, a bootmaker of that level is actually watching these videos. I'm, I'm amazed. I, it's, it makes me so excited. Just look at that. You get a little bit of the red piping here and it leads up to the completely red shaft. Now, looking at it, you might think, hey, what else you got going on under there? Bright, popping red. That's what I'm talking about. The texture, too, is incredible. The round toe is completely my style as well. The other Hondos with the square toe, it was, okay but it just wasn't my style and it also had the one inch heel this boot has a two inch heel i am very impressed with this boot i like the two inch heel it's a little higher than what i usually wear day to day usually i wear the one and five eighths inch heel but i am no stranger to the two inch heel at all it also is stacked leather heels, so it's traditionally made in that regard as well. This is a traditional boot through and through. The value here is incredible. Leather sole, leather stacked here, leather, leather insole, leather lined, leather shafts, leather vamped. This is leather throughout, except for the shank. And I believe there's two shanks in here. I, I think that's the hondo way they have two shanks inside the boot for extra support again they have the brass nails and the lemon wood pegs a single stitched welt it is a great looking boot the texture i can't get over the texture of this bull hide what do you guys think of this boot and what do you guys think of hondos in general i know there are some hondo fans out there you guys commented on the last video but wow hondo is winning me over as a brand boule better watch out jeez this is an incredible boot and keep an eye out for my interview with phil from hondo coming up in a couple of weeks thank you so much for watching today don't forget to comment don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe i will see you guys around peace when it comes to hondo there's no mystery when it comes to hondo they look at history when it comes to hondo they just do the great boots that they do hey hey yeah, Hondo! Yeah! <laughs> See you guys next time. Peace!